be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So our mind needs to be renewed. You know, I love classic cars, certain ones. You get a good classic car, it need to be renewed. And uh, when that shop renewed that classic car, they dismantled it. Screw by screw, bolt by bolt, and they label it. They take the door apart, they disconnect the grill, take the hood off, all the tires off, axles, everything. Take everything apart and lay it out like a puzzle. And if there's anything that can be salvaged, they are salvaged, but they will refurbish it, repair, renew it. So it can run up to date. By the time you sit in that car, you got a whole new set of wheels. So God wants to renew, reconstruct, redevelop our thinking. And before he reconstruct our thinking, he tear down the old mind. He said, I'm, I love construction, I love demolition, and I love designing. And God wants to design for us a beautiful way of thinking. And when you have a mind designed by God, now the word of God is our blueprints. Viewers, I want to present to you the blueprints of God. In the blueprints of God, you will find demolition and construction. Demolition and construction. Both are the requirements of God. He told Jeremiah in the first chapter of the book of Jeremiah, hold it. Say that again. All right, now it's William turn. <laughs> Devil done jumped on his side now. Is your microphone on? All right, you keep talking so they can hear you. Jeremiah chapter 1 and at verse 10. Get his stand-up mic back there. I want to make sure my viewers can hear. The devil don't want you to hear chapter and verse from this program. This is a program that gives chapter, book, chapter, and verse. Hey. Book, chapter, and verse. We give you a good alphabet soup. <laughs> this soup is full of letters. Amen. So uh, I wait to Skeleski get working and before we proceed further, because we got some letters we got the answer to. But uh, we got the soup on the stove and we got the flame turned down and it's boiling and. I have my book of seasoning here. Wonderful. Amen. And before William share our recipe with you, yeah. we want all the microphones working so you can follow us in your recipe books. Yeah. Amen. So we just want to take our time and get Skeleski, let him get all the kinks out. And amen. <laughs> so uh, I got time. Until then, <clears throat> uh, James, we up to date? All right, let me update you on the baptism so far. Two in headquarters, five in Sydney, Australia, four in Bronx, New York, one in the Netherlands, one in Augusta, one in Detroit, 17 baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in Sacramento, California. Also, in reference to our webcast coming up beginning March 12th through the 14th to the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in Africa. Now let us bear in mind here in America those webcasts will begin 8 o'clock in the morning. Friday morning at 8, Saturday morning at 8, Sunday morning at 8, March 12th, 13th and the 14th. The churches in Africa that will be Catching this live uh, webcast will be out of Malawi, Johannesburg, K.
Cape Town, Mauritius, Rodriguez, Sierra Leone, and Mozambique. That is Malawi, Cape Town, Rodriguez, Mozambique, Johannesburg, Mauritius, and Sierra Leone, uh, West Africa. And uh, so let us remember, uh, we'll be doing it live here out of America, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, March 12th, 13th, and 14th, 8 o'clock in the morning here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here on Lindley Avenue. And you, you're welcome to come. You're welcome to come to stop in, and come on in, and be a part of this uh, great move of God taking place. So are we ready yet for uh, Williams? Say something, Williams. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. Oh. Wonderful. All right. So I want to just certify my alphabet soup here. That's right. And, uh, and this is not a, a, a home brew recipe. Mm -mm. No. This is a heavenly recipe. The recipe comes from heaven. That's right. As I said before, God's purpose is to bring about demolition and construction. Mm -hmm. And God has made me uh, one of the builders. He's the architect of the church, yeah. meaning he designed it. Right. Uh, I'm just one of the participants, one of the laborers That's right. who labors together with God. That's right. All right, let's get this, then we'll get Dan Demand Stasiak up to the microphone so we can get these letters out. Feel pretty good today. Wonderful. Amen. I feel pretty good today, William. Wonderful. Amen. Yes, I do. I feel like, I feel like hitting mighty hard. Come on. Come on. Amen. I feel like hitting hard. I don't want no gloves today. I just want bare knuckle Bible. <laughs> Amen. Bare knuckle Bible. Amen. Hey man, you know, us men that came up in the hood, when we did body boxing, we didn't have no gloves on. Oh. Am I right, I said? Yeah. No, sir, we didn't have no, no gloves on, brother. Amen. Hey man, and you know, if you smack somebody, it, it may sting you. But all I got to do is bring those digits right into place, and you'll feel what I'm talking. That's right. So when we body box toe to toe, we would put one foot in front of the other toe to toe. That's right. And uh, no gloves, no mittens. We just ball them hands up. Thank God and the body went to work. That's right. We dish it out and we had to take it. Amen. So if you false prophets can dish it out, <laughs> you better prepare yourself to take it. That's right. All right, William, you got your construction hat on? Oh, yes, All sir. right, let's get ready. Our construction hat is the helmet of salvation here. That's right. All right, let's go to work now. Let's have it. Jeremiah chapter 1 and at verse 10. Yes. Yeah. See? See? I have this day set thee over the nation. I have gave you the oversight. I've set thee over the nation. I've given you authority to do what? And over the kingdom uh -huh. to root out. Now, you got to root those things out. That's not like God. Right. And I want to say to all of you that profess the name of Jesus Christ, that profess to be a child of God, whatever religion you claim you're in, and whoever is your preacher, if you claim to be of God, God's sheep will hear God's voice. That's right. And God's voice is spoken out of God's word. That's right. And uh, I believe in the epistle of John, it says, we are of God. That's right. He that knoweth God. Oh, hear this now. In the book of 1 John chapter 4 and at verse 6. And then we'll go back to the demolition group. Amen. Listen. 1 John 4 and verse 6. Follow me. We are of God. We are of God. He that knoweth God. He that know God. Heareth us. Now, if you know God, you have a relationship with him. That's right. Hallelujah. And you will hear Hallelujah. God's word. That's right. Hallelujah. That's what it means when it says you will hear us. You That's will right. hear what God gave his apostles. That's right. Because they walk with Jesus. Hallelujah. Get me. They talk with Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Ate with them. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Handled him. Hallelujah. Witness 
his death. He appeared unto them after his resurrection and showed himself alive after many infallible proofs. That's right. Stayed around for a little bit longer and then ascended at the appointed time above all heavens. That's right. Then he come back, functioning Holy Ghost comforter. That's right. Glory to God and fill the church. That's right. So if anybody is of God, according to Scripture, we are of God. We are of God. He that knoweth God, he that know God, heareth us. <laughs> Fight us. Heareth us. Fight us. Heareth us. Now, viewers. If your preacher, your pastor, your apostle, your bishop, your elder, your reverend, if he's not willing to hear the word of God, but yet fight it, to justify his own views, his own thinking, his own tradition, then he's not of God. He that is not of God. Because the Bible speaks plain. He that is not of God. It tell you what you will do if you are of God. He that knoweth God, hear us. He that know God, hear us. He that is not of God. He that is not of God. Hear us not of. He won't hear what the word says. That's right. Uh -huh. Hereby know we the spirit of truth. And the spirit of truth, when you got the spirit of truth, you're going to hear what God said. That's right. And, and the spirit of error. And when you got the spirit of error, you're going to fight what God said. That's right. All right, go back to the book of Jeremiah now. Back in Jeremiah 1 and at verse 2. What is it? See, I have this day set thee over the nation. I have set uh, this day, I have set thee over the nation, and over, over the, the kingdoms, kingdoms to root out. Root out? Root out. Where everything, you know, everybody <laughs> has something in them that need to come out. That's right. And brother, sometimes a shovel don't have what it takes no. to get it out. No. So that construction worker bring that, that, uh, uh, that big bulldozer or that crane, yeah. or that, that hole digger. That's right. And take that thing and root that thing out. That's right. Dig deep. Yeah. Uh -huh. And to pull down. Pull down. You know, there's a lot of teaching yeah. that is in the world that need to be pulled down. Pulled down. Tear it up. Yeah. And if you're of God, viewers, let us ignore who the teaching came from. That's right. This is what's why I make many of you so stubborn That's right. and don't want to change because you're too busy looking at who taught you. That's right. Now, look past Pastor Jennings. That's right. Look past Bishop Johnson. Yeah. Look past Bishop Lawson. That's right. Look past Randolph Goodwin. That's right. Look past Bishop Mason. Look past the Pope of Rome. That's right. Look past every preacher. That's right. That is in the 21st century. That's right. Or that came in the 20th or in the past. Look past all of them. That's right. And let's come on back to Bible. That's right. Now, preachers, the Bible challenges and tests our humility. In other words, if I've been preaching something or doing something, it doesn't matter how long, and it doesn't matter who I learned it from, That's right. but if that thing I find out later contradicts God's word, if I'm of God, I first must give ear to what the word of God say before I give ear to what Bishop say. That's right. Because after I hear what Bishop say and Bishop teaching, I don't care how long he been teaching it, glory to God, it doesn't matter. But if his teaching is in conflict, in contradiction with God's word, now out of respect to Bishop, go to Bishop. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Go to Bishop That's right. and say, Bishop, we've been doing such and such a thing. But the Bible says such and such a thing. You know, give Bishop a chance to redeem himself. That's right. And then give Bishop a chance 
that he first is a partaker of the same Bible that he preached to you from. You see, Bishop can preach to you to be humble and don't fight the Bible when he's rebellious and fighting himself. That's right. Eh? That's right. So you take the Bible and go to Bishop and say, Bishop, well, listen, the Bible says such and such and such a thing, and we are doing such and such and such a thing, Bishop. What should we do? Yeah. And if Bishop refer to anybody other than the scriptures, That's right. then he's putting whoever taught him, whoever he came from under, he's putting them above the lively oracles of God. That's right. Because every God sent man is going to point you to Jesus. Search the scripture. You know why? Why, why, why? why would you do that? Because Jesus said, I am the way. That's right. It ain't no bishop can say he's the way unless he points you to the ways of Christ. Jesus said unto him, I am the way. I am. I am the way. Well, that, that, that shut Jennings down. That's right. <clears throat> huh? That's right. That shut Jennings down. That shut Johnson down. That shut Lawson. That, that shut good win or bad win or a smooth win. That's right. Huh? That's that shut every preacher down that come after the apostles, they must hear the old troublemaker now. If they got the same hard hat on yes. that the apostles had. That's right. And if they are on the same on the same construction site yeah. that the apostles was on, because there's only one construction site, because there's only one builder of the church, and God is the builder, and we are laborers together with God. That's right. And there's only one blueprint. Now, the blueprints is the scriptures that show us how the church from the Lord Jesus Christ must be built. That's right. Everything point back to Jesus. That's right. How we baptize, proof of the Holy Ghost, how to live holy. What's in the church? What's permissible in the church? Who started the church? How many churches is it? How the church should function? How the church should be ran? The officers in the church and their job in the church. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Everything. Why? Because if you're building a church like in the natural, everybody don't have the same skill. Eh? You got bricklayers, electricians, plumbers, brick masons, uh, heater and air conditioner men, carpet layers. You got all type of men with skill to put together one building. You got the apostles, the prophets, the teachers, and the ones that come under the heading of teachers in the church, which, which is, they are the bishops, the elders, and the deacons. I'll get back to that. Mm -hmm. You got the evangelists. The evangelists go around with the architectural drawings. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. They go around with the architectural drawings showing the same plan right. everywhere. That's why everywhere the apostles went, notice they went with the same message. It didn't matter the country or the city. They brought water and spirit everywhere. That's right. Everywhere. Yeah. Didn't bring it different at no time. All right, go back to Jeremiah so I can get damn the man Stasiak up here. Back in Jeremiah 1 and verse 10. All right. I have this day set thee over the nations I and over the kingdom. I have set thee over the nations and over the kingdom. To root out. Root out. And to pull down. Pull down. And to destroy. Wait a minute. When you got something in you, it doesn't matter who put it in you. If it contradict God, you got to root it out. Pull down. Hold it. You see, you got to root that plan up first. Root it. If you want to keep weeds from coming back, 
Don't pull the weed up by the top. Dig down and get it by the root. That way there is nothing to nurture the root to keep that plant from coming up. So I have to take the word of God and dig down in your soul. That's right. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. You have to dig down in your heart. That's right. Because emotionally you are attached to a former teaching. That's right. Then I gotta dig down in your mind. Because mentally you're constantly uh, thinking about this teaching. That's right. So once we take the word of God and get it out your heart, I don't have to worry about you loving it no more. That's right. And once they get it out your heart, uh, the, the top part of the teaching that's in your mind, that'll soon dry up. That's right. Because if I get the root, root out. I ain't got to worry about the rest. That's right. If I get the root, the top of the plant will wither. That's right. What did he say? To root out. <laughs> root out. Root out. What else? And to pull down. Glory to God, we're going to pull it down. And to destroy. And, I, and we don't want it to live, so we're going to destroy it. And to throw down. Throw down. To build. And then we're going to build. And to plant. And then when we build, you got to plant, which when you build, that means you're planting something new. That's right. Something fresh. That's right. So we can start over the right way. One scripture says, uh, do your first work over. Right. All right, come on, damn the man, because I'm ready to go to work, and by God's permission, and we can work some. Yes, and man, we got some letters here. We're going to uh, dive into them and take them apart, and I want you to listen real good and follow me in your Bible. All right, Dan. This letter comes from Jamaica, New York. Yes. It says, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, the soon coming king. Uh -huh. Thank God for sending such a preacher in these times. I can't get enough of it. God will give you strength to carry on, this person says. Still not going to church. I wish you could come to Jamaica, New York. We need the true gospel here. Bless the name of Jesus, for he is good. And I was baptized in Jesus only. I want to be baptized over. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, the Bible ain't never said be baptized in a preacher saying Jesus only. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or the words, Lord Jesus. All right. This other letter is from San Diego, California. Uh -huh. It says, Dear Pastor Jennings, I'm a 25-year-old man from San Diego, California. Mm -hmm. I'm writing this letter to ask you if you would be building the church out here in San Diego. Well, I don't know whether I'll be building one, uh, or, but eventually you give us some time. We may build if it be the Lord's will or we may buy. Whatever God see fit to provide us with, God willing, we have set up something if it be the Lord's will in San Diego, California. All right. I write this letter to ask you if you will be building a church out in San Diego, California. Uh -huh. Or if the truth of God will be coming out here to baptize people in the name of Jesus Christ. For yes. For the remission <clears throat> of sins. I am hungry for the word, for righteousness and the truth. I was raised a Christian in the church of God in Christ all my life. Mm -hmm. And came to the truth in 2018 after a revelation in my life having a fear of hell and God's anger and wrath. The Bible says, and he quotes, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And I am seeking God continually while trying to work on my own salvation with fear and trembling by God's permission and strength. He says, my city desperately needs God. San Diego is a military city that borders Mexico and we all need the truth of God here. We all need to repent and be baptized according to Acts chapter two and verse 38. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins and receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. We all need salvation and to be born again. This person says, thank you for your response and God bless you, San Diego, California. All right, California, thank you for such a wonderful letter. All right. <clears throat> Trinidad and Tobago, this person says, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Ronnie. I am from Upper Village, it says, in Trinidad. I got a visit from the police last night while listening to the while listening live to the program, as I always do. Mm -hmm. He said someone called and said I was making a noise, so he asked me to lower it down. Yes. Just want to know if it's okay if I blast God's everlasting word in the village. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with listening to the word, but the Bible also said let all things be done decently and in order. So I wouldn't want you to disturb your neighbors and disturb them that are upstairs and next door to you. 
If you want to share the word of God to them, do it decently and in order. Get a chance to talk to your neighbors and make them aware of how they can see it on YouTube or on the TOG, on the TOG. And uh, that way you don't have to disturb your neighbors and you can glorify God all by yourself. All right. Uh, this other letter says, and it's a biblical question. Yes. Hi, my pastor said sex is marriage, not a wedding. And everyone in the Bible got married by sex. Me and him had sex. Are we married? <laughs> Your pastor is a sexual liar. Uh, because if just having sex means you're married, imagine if you had sex with more than one man or more than one woman. That's right. No, let me tell you what you done. Yeah. Seven chapter mm -hmm. of the book of First Corinthians, quickly now. First Corinthians 7, we're at verse 1. Yes. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me. Concerning the things that ye wrote unto me. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Hold it. Your pastor's trying to brainwash you. That's right. That's all he's doing. Hey Amen. He's trying to convince you you married to him because uh, you had sex with him. He's a perverted liar. That's right. No, you ain't married to that false prophet. No. The Bible says. It is good for a man not to touch a it woman. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. To avoid fornication. To avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife. Have it, no, let every man have his sex. Let every man have his own wife. Have his own sex. Let every man have his own wife. Let every man have his own wife. And let every woman have her own husband. So no, having sex don't mean that you're married. No. When you're not married and have sex, you commit fornication. fornication. And when you do get married and have sex outside of your husband or outside of your wife, you have committed adultery. So your pastor is a liar. That's right. Here, here, here now, here now. If you're not, if you're not married and you had sex with him, you committed fornication. fornication. If he is married, he committed adultery. adultery. So your preacher is a liar. That's right. You leave that liar alone and let him go to hell by himself. That's right. You repent of your sins and be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost so you don't die and go to hell with your pastor. That's right. All right. This letter comes from Holy Temple Church, headquartered in Bronx, New York. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, Pastor Jennings. Do you really want to praise him? <laughs> All right, let's have it. I am a concerned saint reaching out from Holy Temple Church not to cause confusion. All right. But to get a clear understanding of the right hands of fellowship. Okay. It was preached by Bishop Samuels that Titus did not receive the right hands of fellowship because he was under Apostle Paul's ministry. This person asks, is this true? No. Tell Bishop Samuel, if he made that statement, give me, we have the same spirit quickly now. Yeah. We have the same yeah. spirit quickly. I want to lock this down with yeah. Bible, That's lock right. it tight That's until right. I don't even give you room to move your left hip That's unless right. you hit up against scripture. Second Corinthians four and verse 13. All right, follow me in the Bible, give chapter and verse again. Second Corinthians chapter four and we're at verse 13. Yes. We having the same spirit. We have the same spirit of faith, of belief. according as it is written. Now, first the Bible said we got the same spirit of belief, which means that the spirit that is in the preachers today Day, they got to have the same spirit that was in the apostles yesterday. That's right. According as it is written. And then the spirit that is in them will make them run to what is written. That's right. Uh -huh. We having the same spirit of faith. Yes. According as it is written. According to what's written. I believe. I believe. And therefore look, have look I Look at spoken. the chain reaction. That's right. Same spirit. Same spirit. And that spirit is according to what's written. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing, I believe, I believe what's written. And therefore, and as a result of me believing what's written, have I spoken? You're not supposed to speak outside of what's written. That's right. Now, if he said the reason why Titus didn't get the right hands of fellowship was because he was under Paul's administration, the Bible says, bring forth your strong reason. Strong reason. So tell Bishop Samuel, bring forth that scripture that says that. That's right. Amen. 
Don't let him give you his opinion. Get me, get me, get me the old troublemaker now. That's right. He gave his opinion. That's right. And that's not Bible. No. The Bible ain't said that. Let's give it the second chapter of Galatians. Galatians chapter 2. We'll start at verse 1. Let's read this. Then 14 years after I went up again to Jerusalem. Yes, what made the truth of God so good. That's right. So strong. Yeah. We don't believe in adding. Mm -hmm. And when you finish that, you better give me Revelation 22, begin at verse 16. That's right. All right. Galatians chapter 2. We'll start at verse 1. But as then 14 years after I went up again to Jerusalem. Now here you had the Apostle Paul born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of God merely, who was taught according to the perfect manner of the law. Right. Paul came out of the tribe of Benjamin, which is the first tribe that gave Israel a king. That's right. And Paul was on his way to Damascus, and the light shot from heaven above the brightness of the sun, knocked Brother Paul down to the earth, and God spoke from heaven and said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Brother Paul said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus. Whom thine persecuted, it is hard for thee to kick against the prick. He went on down to the street that is called Street, where a certain disciple by the name of Ananias was there. And uh, he was moved and charged by God to lay hands on Brother Paul that he might receive the sight. And he baptized him in the name of Jesus Christ. And Paul received the Holy Ghost. Straightway went preaching that Jesus was the Christ. Right. Now, after 14 years of laboring, Doing the will of God. God stopped Brother Paul. Then 14 years after, 14 I, went years up Jerusalem, after I went up to Jerusalem. With Barnabas and took Listen, Titus with me also. We preached this several weeks ago. Yeah. Now I got to rehearse the matter again. Amen. And we got to build with Bible. Right. Now, he, Barnabas, an apostle. Mm -hmm. Paul, an apostle. Right. And he took Titus, Titus, which is a Greek, which is an elder. That's right. All right. And I went up by revelation. It was revealed to him to go up. And communicated unto them that gospel. And talked with them the gospel that he preached. Which I preach among the Gentiles. Among the uncircumcised, but privately to them that were in reputation. Lest by any means I should run or had run, run, or had run in vain. But neither Titus who was with me being a Greek was compelled to be circumcised. I want to see if we find Samuel's statement in any of this. Mm -hmm. Real quick. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in. Yeah. Came in privately to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. That they might bring us into bondage. Yeah. And I'm at verse 5. All right. To whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour. What happened? That the truth of the gospel might continue with you. All right. Now I'm at verse 6. Yes. But of these who seem to be of somewhat who, whatsoever who, they were. These who seem to be somewhat, whoever they were, make it, it don't matter, to, matter me. to me. God accepteth no man's person. What's the result? But they who seem to be somewhat in conference. How did they talk? In conference. Peter, James, John, Paul, Barnabas, Elder Titus. That's right. You have five apostles in this meeting. That's right. One elder. Yeah. Five apostles, That's right. one elder. Mm -hmm. I want to see anywhere, anywhere. that it says the reason why Titus didn't get the right hand of fellowship was because he was under Paul's administration. Right. All right, let's see, can we find that? For they who seem to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. All right. Now I'm at verse 7. All right. But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel... We are just calling the verse of the chapter yeah. to see, can we see discover can that statement? That's right. Uh -huh. But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision uh -huh. was committed unto me, that what? as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. How did it get it? Now I'm at verse 8. All right. For he that wrought effects me in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision. Yeah. The same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. Same spirit that was in Peter, Paul said was in me before the, uh, to the Gentiles. Now I'm at verse 9. All right. And when James, when James, Cephas, Cephas which and, is Peter, and John, and John, who seemed to be pillars, to be steadfast, received the grace that was given unto what me. What did they do? They gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. And the reason why Titus didn't get it was because he was under Paul's administration. Did and, you forget to read that? No, I haven't read it yet. Now, come on now. You get your, you clean your glasses. I'm at verse they 9. got to be there somewhere. I'm at verse 9. But it is there. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. And the reason why Titus didn't get it was because it was under Paul's administration. Didn't you say that? No, not yet. Now let me show you what Samuel did. Amen. Give me the book, book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 22. And we're at verse 16. Begin at 22, 18. Let's go right to the point. Revelation chapter 22, and I'm at verse 18. All right. Amen. Testify. Testify. Unto every man. I want to give you my testimony now. That's right. I want to bear witness to something. I testify. I testify. Unto every man. To what? Unto every man. That got everybody that would be born after the last apostle fall asleep. That's right. That got everybody. For I testify I unto testify every man. To every man. That hear the words, that of, the hear the of, words of the prophecy of this book. If any man. What? If any man. 
Suppose he's an apostle. Any man. Bishop. Any man. Elder. Any man. Evangelist. Any man. Junior bishop. Any man. So called acting deacon. Any man. A mission bishop. If any man. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If any man, if any man shall add unto these things, shall put something in the book that's not there. God shall not add unto him. God the gonna plague him that are written in this book with the things written in the book. And if any man shall take away, and if any man subtract or from, diminish from the words of the book of from this the prophecy, words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part of the book of life, of life and out of the, and holy, out the city, holy city, and from the and things, from the which things are written, in, written in, in the book. So if that's what Mr. Samuel said, Amen. he added. And because the Bible at no time said no. the reason why Titus didn't get the right hand of fellowship no. was because he was under Paul's administration. Yeah. Amen. The Bible ain't told that lie. And when James, Cephas, and John were so, if pillars, that's what Bishop Samuel said, Amen. Jesus said, "Search the scriptures." Search the scriptures. Oh, glory to God. That's right. Search the scriptures. That's right. For in them. You think you have eternal life. You think you have eternal life. Then the Bible says, whatsoever things That's right. were written aforetime. time. That's why they don't like the truth of God. Oh, because no. we demand Bible. That's right. We demand Bible explanation. That's right. As you give Bible interpretation. For what you got to things? give, you got to back your interpretation with Bible explanation. That's right. Then you have scriptural clarification. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Ah! Whatsoever things were written a form. I say you got to give Bible Go ahead, interpretation. Yeah. And you got to back that interpretation with Bible justification. That's right. We should give Bible clarification. Right. And then we can see it's written. That's right. That's Wonderful. right. Samuel, if that's what he said. Mm. He lied. Yeah, that's right. That's because right. he added. That's and right. when you add, if any man shall add unto these you things, sin. Amen. You're not allowed to add. That's right. And you're not allowed to take away. That's right. Listen. If any man shall add unto these this things, this is not about causing confusion. No. This is about being doctrinal right. That's right. Bible right. That's right. You see, you holy temple folk been bragging before I was born. Nobody right but us. Amen. Everybody come to y'all. Ain't nobody got to come to you. No. Everybody got to come to Jesus. That's right. Yeah. That's right. right. That's what everybody got everybody to come got to. to. That's why we're tossing you Jesus. That's right. And we preach Jesus and him crucified, not adding. That's right. Not taking, taking away. away. Mm -hmm. huh? You see, it's dangerous to add That's because right. someone like Pastor Jennings, whom God raised up in the last days, may call your hand. Yeah. And because there are so many young people and middle aged and old within the organization called the Holy Temple, there's a lot of sincere people mm -hmm. that are listening to the truth of God. Now their eyes is coming open. Now let me tell you that are watching in the Holy Temple. Press your bishop. Press Green. Press Samuel. When they make a statement, ask, where is it in the Bible? That's right. That's right. If they brush you off, that lets you know they ain't got confidence in what they say. Right. Ask them when they give you the explanation, tell them, read it to us. Yeah. Wonderful. Read it? Yeah. Wonderful. Read it to us. Whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatsoever thing was made up. Whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatsoever things was given by opinion. Whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatsoever things were just tossed in the wind. Whatsoever things were written aforetime. It got to be what? Written. It got to be what? Written. It got to be what? Written. Made up. Written. Idea. Written. I suppose. Written. My opinion. Written. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take on. Hallelujah. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. Come on back. That's it. It ain't never been in the Bible the reason why Titus, all right, if you're going to make that foolish statement, mm -hmm. okay, what was the reason why nobody got the right hands of fellowship on the day of Pentecost? That's right. 
What was the reason when Philip went down to Samaria and brought the word of God? Thank God the Holy Ghost didn't fall on none of them yet. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then the apostles come in town, laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. But nobody received the right hands of fellowship. That's Why right. wasn't given then? That's right. Was somebody under somebody else's administration? <laughs> Why Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper coast, stopped in Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, and asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Right. They said, we haven't heard whether they've been the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Paul said, how are you baptized? They said, under John baptism. John preached, verily you should believe on him, that come on after him, that is on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized. That's and right. then the apostle laid hands on them, and they spake with tongues. That's right. Why didn't nobody shake their hand? Amen. What happened? They didn't shake their hand. Paul didn't shake their hand. Why? Because they were John disciples and they was under John's administration. Amen. Amen. In the tenth chapter of the book of Acts, the apostles, when the Italian brother Cornelius was talking to heaven, that's right. Blessed be God, until an angel came, hallelujah, hallelujah. down and appeared to him, send him to Joppa, hallelujah. call for one Simon, who will take God, hallelujah. whose surname is Peter, hallelujah. who loves you, one Simon of Tanner, whose house is by the seaside. When he come, that's he right. will tell you what thou oughtest to do. Thank God. And when they came, bless God, God moved on. Peter went on down to Cornelius house and they declare now we all here right. and while Peter yet speak the word the Holy Ghost fell hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, God. hallelujah. Yeah. wonderful Holy Ghost Amen. fell on all, all them God. that heard the word and they that uh, were Jews were astonished God. because that only Gentiles also was pulled up the gift of the Holy Ghost because they heard them speak in tongue That's right. and magnified God then it was declared can any man who would take tongue forbid water that these should, should, should not be baptized, baptized which received the Holy Ghost as well as we and he, he commanded, commanded them to be baptized. baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus That's right. That's right and they received the Holy Ghost first, first. Why didn't they get their hands shook? That's right. What kind of explanation are you going to give there? That's right. Was it, was it because mm -hmm. they uh, were Gentiles? Mm -hmm. Amen. Explanation. That's right. Must be backed up yes. by scripture yes. verification. For many are deceived. In order mm -hmm. to make your interpretation legit. That's right. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 24, many are tricked by their own vain opinion. Hmm. And that's what Samuel said. He tricked himself. That's right. You see, you can push that stuff all off on people yeah. who don't know the Bible. That's right. But the people are watching and listening. Yes. And I demand that you follow me in the Bible. That's right. I demand. That's right. I don't ask. I demand. Amen. You follow me in the Bible. That's right. And brother, when you get, you, you don't come along and let a man operate on you because he say he's a surgeon. No. Check his track record. That's right. Check his, check the whole hospital track record. That's right. Amen. See how many died, how many patients they lost under that procedure. Yeah. See how many suits against them, if any. That's right. So you check behind the preacher. That's right. With Bible. That's right. Don't just start speaking in tongue and yelling because it sounds right. Yeah. Amen. There is a way which seemeth that right. seem right unto a man. You see, if he if he made that statement, that seemed right to right. some of the people, and I'm pretty sure they was just yelling, Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. But when your ear tries right. words. Mm -hmm. Amen. As the mouth do meat, and when you start chewing on it, um, my knowledge caused me to spit it out. That's right. Why? Because now the Holy Ghost That's right. is all in my taste buds. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. That's right. And I have an appetite now. Hallelujah. I don't have no more appetite for opinion. No. I don't have no more appetite for an emotional feeling. That's right. My appetite now have changed. That's right. My diet have changed. That's right. My diet is just all Jesus and scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. My diet, I said. That's right. Over oh, to God is all Jesus. Amen. All scripture. Yeah. What do you mean? My diet is no more holy temple. 
My diet is not First Church. That's right. My diet is not a building called Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. My diet is just Scripture. That's right. Not organization. That's right. Scripture. That's right. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Hallelujah. So if that's what Samuel said, if that's what he said, if that's what he, said. he lied to you. That's right. Tell him to give your Bible. Yeah. So you go back to him, all of you people. Get together with Green, Bishop Green, so-called Apostle Green, and Mr. Samuel. Yeah. Tell him, we don't mean no disrespect, but we want Bible for this, that, and the other. That's right. That's right. And if they get offended, why would they get offended, and yet they claim they believe the Bible? Amen. That's right. You see, you that's dealing with this, Pastor Jennings can identify with it. Because yeah. I was in the so-called apostolic church. Yeah. And when God started opening up my understanding, I was at the bishop's door. <laughs> and he said, yeah, come in. And I came in respectfully. Can I talk to you a minute? He said, yeah, what's on your mind, you know? I said, uh, you preach such a, such a, such a thing. He said, that's right. I said, but the Bible says such and such a, such a thing. Yes. He said, well, yeah. I said, which is it? <laughs> and he tried to toss me some dog food. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and said, well, God agrees with me, and I agree with God. I said, all right, if you agree with God, then where is it in the Bible what you said? That's right. And, uh, he got so angry with me, he hit the desk. He said, that's your problem. You always want Bible for something. Mm. Then he told me, you will never find a church that fully believes all the Bible. If that's the case, everybody lost. That's right. All right. What else is that? Additional questions from the Holy Temple Church in Bronx, New York. Yes. This is concerning the one cup. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Bishop Samuels from South Carolina has been preaching that there is too much emphasis on the one cup. Does it make a difference if one cup is used? You mean to tell me a bishop says... There's too much emphasis on what the Bible said? What the Bible says. Well, people write me and say that I'm emphasizing too much on a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let's see, am I emphasizing on the one cup mm -hmm. or the Bible? Let's go all the way back to Psalms. Hear me? Mm -hmm. I want you to go all the way back to Psalms, mm -hmm. and then I want to stop at Matthew, and then I want to stop at Luke, and then I want to end up at Corinth. That's I right. want to get the prophets, I want to get Jesus, then I want to get the apostles, and see can we find Gino Jenner's name there, That's who's right. uh, putting too much emphasis on it. That's you know right. they love to bring my name in it, Amen. to water down the pressure of the Bible. <laughs> That's right. And That's right. why right. the Bible is pressuring pressure. the preachers to answer. That's right. Amen. And you preachers better answer oh, yeah. with Bible. Amen. All right, let's have it. In the book of Psalm 75 and at verse 8. Follow me. For in the hand of the Lord. I, I want to see, am I emphasizing on? Yes. Give chapter and verse. Psalm 75 and we're at verse 8. Give chapter and verse. Psalms 75 and I'm at the 8th verse. No, Jennings 75 and 8. Psalm 75 and 8. Pastor Gino Jennings 75 and 8. Psalms 75 and 8. No, First Church 75 and 8. Psalms 75 and 8. Wonderful. Amen. Let's come on back to scripture. What did he say? For in the hand of the Lord. In the hand of the Lord. There is a cup. Get rid of Pastor Jennings. That's right. The cup is in who hand? In the hand of the Lord. All right. Tell me, was the Lord making too much emphasis on what was in his hand? That's right. Go ahead. Man. Wonderful. That's right. Know ye the Lord. Yes. That he's God. He's God. Just tell me, mm -hmm. was the Lord Amen. making too much emphasis? Yes. On what was in his hand. For in the hand of the Lord. In the hand of the Lord. There is a cup. There is a cup. And the wine is red. And the wine is red. Keep traveling. Now in the book of St. Matthew chapter 26. That's what. And we're at verse 26. Yes. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it. Yes. And gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. This is my body. And he took the cup. Wait a minute. Jesus did what? And he took the cup. Give chapter and verse. St. Matthew chapter 26, and I'm at verse 27. All right, Bishop Samuel. 
Is this too much emphasis? Amen. This is our second witness. And he took the cup. Never mind, Pastor Jennings. That's right. That's right. Never mind, Pastor Jennings. That's right. You can't say Pastor Jennings is emphasizing on anything. No. If I am a preacher of righteousness, Wonderful. he told me, preach the word. Preach the word. The cup is in the word. That's right. And if it's in the word, I must preach. preach. What the word of God said. That's right. Let me ask you something, Samuel. Why aren't you hmm. emphasizing on what's in the Lord's hand? That's right. In the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. In the hand of Geno Jennings, there's a cup. In the hand of the Lord, there no, is a cup. No, in the hand cup. of Daniel. In the hand of the Lord. In the, it's in your hand, William. In your the, hand. In the hand of the Lord. There is a cup. All right, and the wine is red. And the wine is red. All right, let's get Matthew now. Matthew 26, and I'm at verse 27. Solomon. And he took the cup. He, back at Jesus again. That's right. The Lord. That's right. This witness was fulfilled. That's right. The Lord was manifest in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the Bible says. And he took the and cup. And he took the cup. And gave thanks. And he gave thanks. And gave it to them, saying, drink ye all of it. And you say, I'm emphasizing? Amen. Now, no, this is Bible. In the book Let's of keep Luke, reading. Luke chapter 22. And we I'm got at, another witness? There's another witness. Luke chapter 22 and at verse 17. Lord dear God, amen. Do you hear what it said? And he took the cup. What? And he took the cup. Never mind, Gino Jennings. I'm not, That's imagine right. that. A bishop. Imagine that. Saying it's too much emphasis Amen. on the one cup. Amen. The Bible says. And he took the cup. I tell you what, Bishop Samuel and Bishop Green, mm -hmm. let's meet on, come on. face to face, yes. not behind closed doors, yes. publicly, mm. and let's strike out these yeah. two subjects with Bible. That's right. One. Proved by the Bible that the reason why Titus didn't get the right hand of fellowship was because he was under Paul's administration. Bible chapter and verse that says that. Mm -hmm. And proved by the Bible that it's two ways to serve the Lord's Supper. Mm -hmm. Tray of glasses yeah. or the cup. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Two ways to do it. Yeah. Because we believe in one, one, one. <laughs> That's right. One way to God. That's right. That's what the truth of God stand on. That's right. One way. That's right. One setup. Yeah. We're going to take God and we got a Bible set up on it too. That's right. What is that? And he took the cup. He took the cup. And gave thanks. And gave thanks. And said, take this. You take this. And divide it among yourselves. If Jesus said, take this, I'm going to take this because this is that. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. All right, let's get Corinthians now. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. All right. And I'm at verse 24. Yes. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of Read it me. again. And Sound like you're down to your last breath, yeah, son. My, you're trying to get it all out. My, yeah, my, my breath went down fast. Yeah, y'all don't want your breath to go down. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to die for it right now, you go ahead. Huh? I mean, we're trying to keep the mic at you while you're going down to the floor. <laughs> all right, come on, Will. First Corinthians 11, I'm at verse 24. All right. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which yes. is broken for you. And this do in remembrance of me. Yes. After the same manner also, he took the cup. He took the cup. When he had supped. When he had supped. Saying, This cup. This cup. Is the New Testament, is the in, New my Testament blood. in my blood. This do ye as oft as he you said, drink it. He said, This. This do ye. Do it. As oft as you drink it. Tell me what the Apostle Paul making too much emphasis when he charged us to do it. That's right. That's right. The this Bible do, says. This do ye. This do ye. Now and you tell me, was the Apostle Paul emphasizing too much when he was commanding the church? Amen. This. This do ye. You do this. As often as you drink. And you do it as often as you drink. In remembrance of me. In remembrance of Jesus. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and at verse 16. And the cup of blessing which we bless. Is it too much emphasis or is it Bible? <laughs> Amen. Is it too much emphasis? Is it Bible? Amen. Now, I want everybody, I don't care what church you're in, to hear this. Mm -hmm. Anytime you've been serving the tray of glasses, mm -hmm. I don't care how old you are, I don't care who your bishop was, I don't care who your bishop is, and yet you hear Bible, the book of correction, yeah. that show you that you've done it wrong, mm -hmm. and any apostle, any bishop will hold on to their own tradition. Yeah and take the Bible and push it aside. Yes. Or any minister, get up in a pulpit 
and say it doesn't matter how you do it. My Lord. Now I'm going to give you a Bible for doing it their way. That's right. And let's do it in the public. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. If you've been doing it with glasses and the Bible says do it this way. This, this cup is the New Testament in, in my give, blood. Give chapter and verse. Back in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 25. Says what? This cup is the New Testament in my blood. What is it? This do ye. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. I ain't got to do it. This do ye. No, it's too much emphasis on it. This do ye. It doesn't matter. This do ye. Amen. Wonderful. Are we going? If God said it, God. we what? This do ye. Oh, yeah. This do it? This do ye. All right, Samuel. Amen. Take them tray of glasses, throw them away. Because right. the Bible says. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye. And if you don't do it, you're going to hell. That's right. And if you say I'm just blowing smoke, all right. That's right. Pastor Jennings is offering an invitation. I'm not mean. I'm a nice fella. Yes, you are. But the youth conference is coming up. Yeah. First weekend of April. Amen. I will, I'm giving Bishop Samuel and Bishop Green, mm -hmm. your apostle and your elder, both of you. Yeah. I want to talk to both of you at the same time. <laughs> Amen. I'm not going to get no help from Dan. No. We're just going to have Bible, just the Bible and just me. And I'm telling Samuel, bring green. And I'm telling green, bring Samuel. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And we're going to televise it. Right. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. <laughs> and if you don't want to come, give me an invitation to come to Columbia or Bronx, New York. Not in an office, not behind closed doors, publicly, and let it be televised in a live webcast, Lord. and we are willing to do it at our expense. Amen. 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 I'm an apostle. That's right. Made by hands of heaven. That's Wonderful. right. Wonderful. I can tell the world that. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, ain't no one dying. I jumped up in the apostles. Hallelujah. In the apostleship. I heard God was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. When they appeared to me. Hallelujah. 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 Take Wonderful. God and told me the same thing that he told Brother Paul. That's right. I have appeared unto you. Hallelujah. 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 For this purpose. To make me a minister. Hallelujah. Who will take God to make me a minister? And a witness. And a witness. Both of these things which I have seen. And he made me a witness too. Yes, he did. Don't have a Hallelujah. Don't have a skid bone in me. That's right. Of nobody. That's right. Nowhere. That's right. I didn't sit and listen to that Johnson tapes to learn the doctrine of the apostles. No. I will take God, I got mine from heaven. That's right, man. Hallelujah. I will take God. Wonderful. And when I got mine from heaven, mm -hmm. gradually the Holy Ghost had to tear down. That's right. A lot of that old apostolic junk that was in me. That's right. He bulldozed it down. Amen. And I accept the bulldozing of the scripture. Amen. Amen. The tray of glasses. Hallelujah. Is wrong. Yes, it is. All of you that are watching from the Holy Temple, don't let Samuel Green or any of your preachers get in the pulpit. Let them throw out all they talk. Ask them plainly. If the one cup they got such a problem with, not only them, anybody else, right. show you in the Bible. Because we went and got Bible. Bible, that's right. For our one cup. That's right. So at least show the people enough respect. <laughs> To get Bible yeah. for your tray of glasses. Amen. If you get Bible where anybody served it the way you did, I will come before the public on the live webcast and repent and tell the world 
I was wrong. You see, I'm not too big to do that. That's right. I came before the world when God opened up my understanding to the one cup and told the world I was wrong. That's right. When I was serving the tray of glasses. That's right. So if you're able to prove that the tray of glasses is right, yeah. I come back again. Amen. I come back again Amen. and beg your pardon. That's right. And say, will you please <laughs> forgive me? Yeah. I sound like James Brown with it. That's right. Please. Huh? That's right. I sang it to you. That's right. Please. That's right. Oh, 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 oh please. <laughs> Then I put the oh, cape no. on you, Pastor. Will you put the cape then on? Then I put the yeah. cape Glory on. Glory to God. <laughs> I'm not telling the world to come back to Bible for nothing. That's right. The churches have yeah. abandoned the word of God That's to right. uphold your own tradition. That's right. Jesus said, thus have you made the commandment of God another fact by your tradition. By your tradition. By your tradition. By your tradition. Right. And he called you hypocrites. Hypocrites. Well, have these eyes prophesied well, have I the eyes speak about you hypocrites. As it is written. Let me tell you the reason why Holy Temple is holding on to the tray of glasses, because Bishop Johnson done it that way. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. And when Bishop Johnson done it that way, Randolph Goodwin learned it from Johnson. Yeah. So when you bring Bible about the one cup, and if Samuel or Green said, well, Bishop Randolph Goodwin, if it was right, uh, he, he would have done it. Who said that he had that understanding? That's right. You being mighty naive. That's right. Don't you know the light gets brighter? Brighter and brighter. You right. think the light stopped at Johnson or Goodwin? Are you a fool? But the path of the judge. The word of God says. In Proverbs 4 and 18. But God. the path of the uh -huh. judge. The path. Of the just, of the honest, is as the shining light. Is as the shining light with that shines more. It shine more and more and more to the perfect day. Glory to God How until Jesus comes. That's right. It gets brighter. That's right. Huh? That's God right. willing, if if I die, yeah. the light don't stop. No. It gets brighter. That's right. Dan die. The light don't stop. That's right. It gets brighter. That's right. William died. Yeah. You can't hear him read no more. Amen. Amen. But the light. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Get brighter. Oh, thank God. It keeps getting brighter. More and more. How often? More and more. Johnson dead, but Amen. the light shineth more and more. Randolph going dead, but the light shineth more and more. Hunter is dead, but the light shineth more and more. Lawson is dead, but the light shineth more and more. Mason is dead, but the light shineth more and more. G.T. Hayward is dead, but the light shineth more and more. Unto the perfect day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 The word of God said. But the path of the justice has a shining light. Hallelujah. 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 That's it, be God. But the path of the just. The path of the just. Hallelujah. Of the just. It has the shining light. How do it work? That shineth more and more. Unto the perfect day. How do it work, church? That shineth more and more. How do it work? Talk back to me. Amen. Talk back to me. More more. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful. More and more. Hallelujah. 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 Shine is that me? That mean if I die. Hallelujah. And God didn't make something known. Yes. Because he wants the church to have it. That's right. When he raised somebody else up, yes. he's gonna give it to that. That's right. And when they die, and yes. something wasn't made known, yes. because he wants the church to have it, he's gonna give it to that. That's right. right. And when they die, That's right. and something wasn't made known, Hallelujah. because he wants the church to he gonna keep doing it. That's right. Shine. And oh, oh, oh. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah! 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 Come here, Double D. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come here, Shane. Hallelujah. Come on, brother. Hallelujah. Double D, you get here. Hallelujah. Shane, you stop right there. Step right there. Now, I used to run track. Yeah. And we had to have that baton. That's right. 
Hold that double D. Now, turn around like you're facing. Hold that baton back. Step in place. That's right. Now, if he got the light, that's right. Now, that's right. Keep step. That's right. If he got the light, amen. And God sent him. Yeah. And he died. Yeah. What God didn't give him, amen. Is in my hand. Right. Right. One more. One more. Oh, hey. Hallelujah. Oh, hey. One more. Oh, hey. All right. All right. All right. All right. And if I die, Hallelujah. The one that come after me, now God he got one more. Uh, <laughs> Keep trying. More and more. And then he That's got it. it. Hallelujah. God give it to the next one. That's right. right. And they keep it up. That's right. And the next one. That's right. And keep it up. God is Wonderful. More and more. How? That's right. It's more and more. To what? Unto the perfect day. Wonderful. Hallelujah. 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 It shines. More and more. No. More and more. No. Unto the perfect day. No. Hallelujah. Hey. No. That's right. Until, Until the perfect day. Until Jesus Hallelujah. comes. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Until Jesus comes. Until the perfect day. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Bless it be God. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the way God works. That's right. It shines. Shines more. 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 And more. You know. Hallelujah. Somebody said, they wrote me and said, nobody can come with more truth. Than what God made known to Johnson. Are you that foolish? My Lord. You think God is handicapped? That's right. No. Oh, no. You're deceived of the devil. That's right. The Bible speaks different. But the path of the justice, that's the shining light. How do it work? That shineth more. Now. Amen. The example that I made. Yes. Whatever God make known to one is still scripture. That's right. He just didn't make known to the other. That's right. Then when the other come yeah. and God makes something known to him, yeah. it's still scripture. That's right. In other words, God updates the ones he sent. That's right. By giving them revelation yeah. of past knowledge, yeah. past information, yeah. and give them revelation with present understanding Wonderful. of past information. That's right. Wonderful. 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 That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. The church Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ in the scriptures. Amen. Use one cup. One cup. So before I had that information, Amen. I was running with a tray of glasses. Yeah. And because God saw my heart. That's, that's, right. Huh? that's right. That's right. God saw it. That's right. Want me to run right. Go ahead. Man. Stop me one day. Spoke to me early one morning. Told me to go back and read such and such a chapter, Amen. such and such a book, Amen. such and such a verse. Yeah. He stopped me in my track. Wonderful. Wonderful. And I went and read it. And then the Lord started guiding me. Yeah. Every place I turned, Amen. one cup. That's right. Now, Samuel and Green, mm -hmm. you want to know why the word emphasized one cup? Because there's only one death. That's right. Huh? That's right. A cup is a container. Yeah. That body of the Son of God was a container. Yeah. And in that container, God was in there. That's right. The Bible says, Verily thou art a God that's hidest thine self. Yeah. And God was in that container. Yeah. And that container was a camouflage for the Spirit. And within that container right. was blood, water, and Spirit. Right. Amen. And in that cup, the blood was the New Testament. That's right. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. In my what? In my blood. Amen. What did he say? This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Uh -huh. This do ye. No, do something else. This do ye. You better emphasize on it or go to hell. That's right. Before you die, Samuel, oh, yeah. and before you die, Green, yeah. if you don't admit to the people you done it wrong, wrong. you're going to go to hell. That's right. It'd be different if you didn't know. Yeah. It'd be different if this light didn't come to you, not just you and anybody else. That's right. But if you reject the light, That's any right. light, that a preacher reject oh to the church, yeah. you bring damnation That's right. upon yourself. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, whosoever shall eat this bread, shall eat this bread, and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily. No, and, and drink these glasses of the Lord. And drink this cup of the Lord. You see, now, if you're doing the drinking, That's right. you condemned. That's right. Oh, yeah. Whosoever. Eh? That's right. Amen. Thank you, God, he didn't cut you off. Amen. What of God said? Whosoever shall eat this bread and, and I want to say to you that are writing, mm -hmm. 
uh, from the Holy Temple. Press the preachers. I don't care what branch church you're in. If they get up and start fighting and all that, press them. That's right. Yeah. Just say, can I have a question? Yeah. Yes. Show us in the Bible where the tray of glasses is. Yeah. Well, Bishop Goodwin said, praise the Lord. <laughs> I don't want that. Don't, that's right. I don't want that. No. I don't want that. <laughs> that's right. I don't want that. No. Amen. You bring Goodwin, I'll bring Bible. Amen. You bring Johnson, I'll bring Bible. That's right. You bring Gabriel, <laughs> I'll right. bring Bible. That's right. Amen. That's right. Did you hear what it says? This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Wait a minute. This do ye. If the cup is the New Testament in the blood and it says this do ye, this do please ye. tell me what testament is the tray of glasses. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's true. If the Bible said this cup. This cup is the New Testament is in my the blood. the New Testament in my blood. This do ye. All right, you tell me what testament the tray of glasses fall in. We only got two old and new. It, that's right. Unless there's a New Testament. <laughs> and if there's a New Testament, I'll bless it to hell God knows. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. So am I putting too much emphasis on it? No. Mm. I preach what's written. Amen. Whatsoever the thing that's written the full time is written for our learning. That's right. So Samuel and Green, I want to have a talk with you yeah. um, before the public. Yeah. And don't try to water it down and say Pastor Jennings is just trying to show off and make <laughs> himself big. No. Here's a man that's declaring to the world that he's a God sent apostle. That's right. I am a God made, God anointed apostle. Amen. Made by hands of heaven. Yeah. So Green should be eager to talk to me. Oh, yeah. He's an apostle. He's an apostle. Supposedly. That's right. And I would love to ask him, how were you made? Yes. Amen. I'm willing to put my calling mm. and apostleship mm. on the line. Amen. Amen. And I can testify to the world yeah. how, how oh. I was made. That's right. And then give your Bible for it. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, this is a good thing. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, Dan, the man. Sorry to have you standing so long. I know your back is bothering you. Come on, Dan. Stay with the Holy Temple. We still got more? Still more. All right. The second question says... If they cast out lots, if they cast lots on Matthias, yes. does that mean they can cast lots on other elders or bishops and make them an apostle? No! No. no. Give me the first chapter, first chapter of the book of, book of Acts. Acts. We got and more mail. I just leave, let's leave that out. You go ahead and rest your back. I, I, we'll, we'll work on this, and then i pick up what I want to work on in the book of John, St. John 7, 37 and 7, 38. Amen. All right, let me let Dan, the man, rest his back, and perhaps if he's here this evening, perhaps we can finish and gather the fragments on the others that nothing be lost. Amen. I got to take care of my brother. I want him to fall up on me. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's have it. Acts chapter 1, and I'm at verse 21. All right, listen at this. The question is, uh, if they cast lots and, and the other apostles was added, can the elders... Cast lots mm. and make an apostle. Mm. Uh, no, that that that's that's not Bible. No more than an ant can tap dance, okay. and its taps can be heard from China to Australia and from Australia here in America. That's right. Imagine a tap dancing ant <laughs> with Nikes on. My lord. And then with a blind wig. My lord. And then with a scarf. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And got a pocket full of change. My God. And keys on his left hip. My Lord. I would like to see that too. All right, come on, Williams. Let's have it. Acts chapter 1, we're starting verse 20. All right. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate. Let his habitation be desolate. And let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. Let a, all right, and his bishopric let another take. And now we're going to see how this bishopric was taken. Someone said, we see there? Mm -hmm. The bishop mean elder. Just a minute now. Just a minute. An apostle is a bishop. That's right. The word bishop means one that had the oversight. That's right. An apostle fulfills all the area of ministry. That's right. An apostle, he's a bishop because he had the oversight. Yeah. I believe it was Peter said, I'm also I'm am an elder. An apostle is an evangelist yeah. because Jesus told them to go into all the world. An apostle is a pastor because they're sent to lead, to shepherd the people. That's right. An apostle is a minister because the minister come to serve. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? That's right. All right. And his bishopric let another take. Yes. Wherefore, these men which have accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. Yes. Beginning from the baptism of John until that same day. Yes. That he was taken up from us, must one be ordained. Must one be ordained. To be a witness with us of his resurrection. Yes. And they appointed too. Now. The only ones that did the appointing was 11. That's right. Because Judas was dead now. That's right. He hung himself. Yeah. 
There was no elders there because they didn't ordain any yet. That's right. Mm -hmm. There were no elders there because none was ordained yet. That's right. Wonderful. They still had to fill the gap of Judas. That's right. There were no elders yet. There was no deacons yet. No. The apostles was the one carrying the message. That's right. Let's strike it out with Bible. That's right. The thing rests on the apostleship. Amen. Uh -huh. Beginning from the baptism of, of John until that same day that he was taken up from us. We have to get someone mm -hmm. from the baptism of John. Uh, that lets you know the ones that was brought forth right. witnessed Jesus walking the earth in the flesh and they were on the same end of the teaching of the apostles. That's right. Starting from the baptism of John, the two men that was brought forth yeah. was with the apostles. That's right. While Jesus was in the flesh. That's right. Getting the same teaching, witnessing the same power, yeah. hearing the same message right. among the same authority, yet didn't have the authority. That's right. You know, you can be among authority, yeah. but you don't have that authority. That's right. They were among authority, yeah. but they didn't have the authority. Amen. The authority was reserved yes. for later problems. That's right. Because Jesus knew that he, one of them going to die. Yeah. That's why he told Judas, whatever you do, do quickly. Do quickly. Yeah. You know you're going to betray me. Just do it and get it over with. That's and right. don't slow around about it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Listen at this now. Beginning from the baptism of John until that same day that he was taken up from us. Yes. Must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. All he needed was one. And they appointed two. Wait a minute. But how many needed to be ordained? Must one be ordained. But how many they appointed? They appointed two. But how many was ordained? Must one be ordained. One needed, but how many they appointed? They appointed two. It was the apostles that appointed two. You better not tell me it was the elders. That's right. That's right. You better not. That's right. The apostles didn't lay hands on nobody yet. No. And ordained nobody yet and commissioned them to go preach. No. The only ones that had the commission at this time were the apostles. That's right. All right. And they appointed two. Now they appointed two. Joseph called Barsabas. Joseph. Was named Justice. Joseph. Who was called Barsabas. Who was surnamed Justice. Who was surnamed Justice. And Matthias. And Matthias. And they prayed. Now the eleven, mm -hmm. the apostles, yeah. not the elders, not the deacons, not the bishop, none of that. The apostles. They prayed. They prayed. And said, Thou and Lord. Said, Thou Lord. Which knoweth the, hearts, know of the all men. hearts of all men. Show whether of these two. We don't need two right now, Jesus. That's right. We don't, we don't need two because two apostles didn't die. Mm -hmm. Only one died. That's right. And the prophecy said, Let one die and let another take his office. That's right. Huh? That's right. Let one take his office. Yes. So we know we don't have the authority to make apostles. That's right. That's right. The apostles knew they did not have the authority no. to make apostles. They prayed. So they just got two. That's right. Brought them before God. That's right. And let the decision yes. fall on God. And they prayed. So they prayed. And said, Thou you see, Lord. You see how it's right and divided? That's right. You see how it's broken down so plain? That's right. That's right. They said, O Lord. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men. You know the hearts of these fellows. Show whether of these two. Wait a minute. You show us. Show whether of these two. The responsibility is on you, Lord. That's right. The responsibility is on you. Show whether of these two. You, you, you going to have to show which one of these two. Thou hast chosen. No, that we select. Thou hast chosen. That we select. Thou hast chosen. That's right. You show whether these two that thou hast chosen. That he may take that part, he may take part of this ministry, of and, this apostleship, ministry and apostleship. From which Judas by transgression uh, fell. Judas fell. That he might go to his own place. And, and they gave forth their lot. They gave forth their vote. And the lot fell upon Matthias. Now, why did the lot fell on Matthias? Amen. Go back up and read it. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men. Show whether of these two thou hast chosen. Who chose them? Thou hast chosen. And who did the lot fall on? And the lot fell upon Matthias. And why was Matthias chosen? Thou, Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men. Show whether of these two thou hast chosen. Who chose Matthias? And thou, Lord. Who chose Matthias? Thou, Lord. 
That's right. That's right. They pray. There ain't no elders <laughs> got the authority no. to make choice no. among brothers. Now they pray. That's a lie out of hell. Ah, amen. Amen. That's another gospel. Yes, it is. If an angel come from heaven and preach any other gospel that differ from what the apostles have preached, let the angel be a curse. And that's what Samuel or green or orange or yellow or any other color preacher preaching. Let him be a curse. Tell him be give Bible. That's right. Where the elders yep. in the scriptures mm -hmm. ever come together. <laughs> Who you think appoints the elders? That's right. The apostle, the apostle points to elders. That's right. And they pray. You'll find that in the first chapter of the book of Titus. Titus. Pastor Paul instructed Titus and told him, Left I the increase. That thou shalt set elders in the city. Here, here, here. Left I the increase that thou shalt set in order That's right. the things that are wanted. That are wanted. And he instructed him to ordain elders in every city. How? As I had appointed thee. The elder get the permission from the apostle. That's right. You don't become an apostle by the permission of the elder. <laughs> no way. That's a church that's backward. That's right. If and there's any apostle out there and a bunch of elders got okay. together and voted and that's how you're an apostle, I take your apostleship and make you lick it up. That's right. And they pray. If there's any apostle in the world Go ahead. Go ahead. and you became an apostle because a group of elders got together hmm. and chose you, Amen. you're not an apostle of Jesus Christ. No. And I take the Bible and prove it. That's right. You are a false apostle. That's right. You are a deceitful worker. Mm -hmm. And all I got to do is test your knowledge. Yeah. I take you over to the 12th chapter of Revelation. Yeah. And I ask you, who is the woman clothed with the sun and the moon, uh, clothed with the sun and the moon yeah. under her feet? What was the sun? Yeah. What was the, uh, the crown of 12 stars that was on her head? Yeah. What did Habakkuk mean when he saw God out of his mouth and uh, they, they, they came a two-edged sword? Yeah. And what, what was the horns that came out of his hand? Right. I, I will ask that apostle, what does it mean when the Bible saw God uh, walking among the curse suits of heaven? Right. I will ask that apostle when Job said uh, how God hung the earth on nothing and how he made Palladius and Orion yeah. and Arcticus yeah and the chambers of the South. Mm -hmm. I want to know what did those chambers consist of? That's right. That's right. Wonderful. When I ask you, the Lord said unto my Lord, my Lord, that's it. Sit down on my right hand Amen. until I make thy enemies thy footstool Amen. and the apostle should be able to spit it out. That's right. That's right. Amen. When I ask you, what do Apollyon and Abaddon have in common? Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take off. An apostle can spit it out. That's right. That's right. If any of you out there that's of the so-called apostolic faith, mm -hmm. and your apostle became one because a group of elders came mm. and laid hands on him, you show me one scripture. I make it so easy for you. Just one scripture. That's right. And one verse where God gave elders the authority mm. to lay hands and consecrate a man into the apostleship, or where the elders mm. in the scriptures came together and cast lots. Yeah. And that's how one came into the apostleship. You can't use the first chapter of Acts. No. no elders was in the church yet, but the apostles. That's right. That's right. See, they can say this stuff to people who don't know no better. Right. Or it take God, but when you get a higher knowledge, when you get a higher knowledge. That's right. All right, let me close out with the seventh chapter of the book of St. John. St. John chapter 7, we're at verse 37. Verse 37 and verse 38. Verse 37 and verse 38. All right. In the last day, that great day of the <laughs> feast. Amen. That's what we're living in now. Oh, yeah. The last day. In the last day. That great day of the feast. Oh, thank God that the great day of the feast. Jesus, Jesus cried, stood saying, and crying, saying, If any man thirst, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Let him come on to Jesus and drink. He that believeth on me. How? As the scripture had said. Do you Amen. see it? He that believeth on me. He that believeth on me. As the scripture had said. 
So you that's in the holy temple, how shall we believe on Jesus? As the scripture had said. Amen. Get Samuel in green, impress him with Bible. That's right. After they can call you a backslider. They can call you a traitor. They can say you a Geninite. They can right. say you are the devil. Yeah. After they say Johnson says such and such. After they say Randolph Goatman says such and such. Yeah. Just be quiet. Yeah. And when they done, Amen. just say, Bishop, with all due respect, yeah. show me in the Bible. Right. Johnson ain't coming back for me. That's right. And, jo and, and Randolph Goodwin didn't back. die no. for me. That's right. And shed blood. That's right. For me. That's right. Our belief's supposed to be based upon scripture. He that believeth on me as the scripture had said. What happened? Out of his belly shall flow. Out of his belly shall Over flow rivers. Out of of his belly. Amen. Shall flow rivers of living water. That means he'll be full of the spirit. That's right. Eh? But this fake he says, of the out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers. That means he's gonna be full. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Full of it. That's right. Hallelujah. Full of the spirit. But this fake he of the spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This fake he of the spirit. Which they that believe on that him should receive. They should believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost the was Holy not Ghost yet given. The Holy Ghost had not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. And when he came on back in that glorified body and ascended above all heavens in the glorified state the Holy Ghost came on back in his name and got the church active on the day of Pentecost that's right the Bible commands us that's right he that believeth on me as the scripture has said as opinions are given as the scripture has said at the dinner and trying to start something new <laughs> really really I read to you the scriptures the that was written before my mother was born that's right that's right that's right Glory to God, men of old preached this. That's right, that's right. Before I was born. Amen. So you young people, amen. Yeah. And, if, and, and if the preachers is telling the people don't speak to you and all that type of frivolous, childish yeah. foolishness. That's right. That's all right. Amen. Let God speak to you. Yeah. And God is speaking now through his word. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So Samuel and Green and all of you from the Holy Temple that are watching, you contact Sam <laughs> and you contact Green. Yeah. Tell them Pastor Jennings or Brother Jennings. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. Amen. Or you can say that false prophet Gino Jennings. <laughs> Call right. me whatever you like. Whatever you I'm inviting Samuel and Green mm -hmm. to Philadelphia. Wonderful. At the close of our youth conference, yeah. bring your elders, Amen. bring your members, That's right. and let's strike this out with Bible. That's right. Or give me an invitation to either come to New York or Columbia, South Carolina, Amen. and let's back this conversation with Bible. That's right. That the reason why Titus didn't get the right in the fellowship was right in the fellowship was because he was under poor administration. Close that door, there, brother. Or that the one cup is not necessary. Yeah. Tray of glasses is all right because Randolph did it. That's right. Who was Randolph? That's nothing to me. That's right. Listen, someone said that's disrespectful. But of these who seem to be somewhat. In Galatians chapter 2 and verse 6. Yeah, these who seem to be somewhat. Whatsoever they were. Whoever they are. It maketh no matter to me. It don't matter to me who Randolph is no more than anybody else. That's right. Anybody else. God accepteth no man. God person. don't have no respect the person. I hear, hear you listening at a man who's not impressed with nobody. That's right. I'm not impressed with nobody. Wonderful. See, you think I should be impressed because of Randolph. Who's Randolph? That's right. Randolph had to do this thing right yeah. uh, in order to get in. Amen. You got to do this thing right in order to get in get in. Right. I got to do this thing right That's in right. order to get in. That's right. Or go to hell. Amen. Amen. When it comes to the Bible, I'm neutral. That's right. I don't lean to Randolph. I don't lean to Johnson. No. I don't lean to nobody. Nobody. But Jesus. That's right. That's right. I'm neutral. Yes. Jesus said what? He that believeth on me as the scripture had said. Now, if he said believe on him as the scripture said, yeah. the scripture says about Jesus, mm -hmm. he had a cup. That's right. That's true. That's 
what it says. He that believe on me. As the scripture had said. You got to believe on him as the scripture says. And he said in the scriptures mm -hmm. that this he cup. had a cup. That's this right. cup. This cup is the, in the New Testament. That's scripture. That's right. That's scripture. That's scripture. Yeah. This cup is in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 25. This cup. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. That's scripture. This do, do you. Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, viewers. Do you believe that? Amen. We've been doing it for 60 years. I don't care if you've been doing it for 6,000 years. <laughs> right. I don't care if somehow or another you managed to creep in the Garden of Eden <laughs> and hid behind the tree of life with a <laughs> tray of glasses under your drawer. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Amen. You was behind that tree looking and sipping. <laughs> Come on back to Bible. He that believeth on me as the scripture hath said. Amen. Anytime anybody bring you Bible and you bring up Johnson, mm -hmm. you put Johnson above Jesus. That's right. Anytime someone bring you Bible and you bring Randolph, mm -hmm. you put Randolph, you don't ran off. <laughs> That's right. You don't ran off with Randolph. Amen. If someone show you in the Bible and the Bible's right, yeah. take it. That's right. Or go to hell. Amen. God sent us to correct what have deviated. Yeah. That's my mission. Hallelujah. That's my mission. That's my job. That's right. To correct that which have deviated. That's right. That's, right. That's what bro Brother Byron said to me when he talked to me and he stays with me. He said, you are determined to stick with that Bible. I'm just determined to stick. You can't offer me nothing. No, no. You can't offer me nothing. That's right. Amen. That's right. Do you got all the truth? No. no. I'm still getting it line upon line. Yeah. Precept upon precept. Yeah. He's opening up my understanding here a little. Wonderful. And he's still opening up very little. Very little. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to take God. He that believeth on he me. He that believeth on me. Come on back to the Bible. Don't be hard here. Don't be arrogant. Don't be stubborn. You holy temple preachers, you come on now. That's right. Come on, I want green, and if green don't come, or Samuel don't come, if any of you elders think you know what you're talking about, <laughs> you come. Amen. Come on. Mm. Bring forth the strong reason. That's right. Well, we not, we not going to debate. The Bible said debate thine cause with your brother. With your, with your brother. You say I'm wrong, prove it. I'm declaring to the world, you're wrong. That's right. I'm not stuttering. You're wrong. That's right. And I'm ready to prove it. Amen. I'm ready to take the Bible and spank your backside good. That's right. I'm going to give you an old-fashioned heavenly beating. Amen. You know, my father gave me a beating. I was jumping around like I had the Holy Ghost. <laughs> huh? Amen. I'm going to beat you with the Bible. That's right. Amen. So, and those that left the Holy Temple, don't get over the air and take this message out on them. No. And those that are still in the holy temple, what you do, you continue to write me. That's right. Yeah, that's right, Green. Green and Samuel, those in the holy temple, they're writing us yeah. about what they've been, been taught for years. Yeah. You keep writing us now. Amen. Question what, the, not just holy temple, viewers, stop giving these men ties. Stop giving these men offerings. Amen. Stop giving them birthday dinners. That's right. Let them go to McDonald's. <laughs> That's right. Well, let them go to Burger King. Amen. I'm told to take two hands to handle a Whopper. Amen. Let them go to Burger King. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, a lot of these old men don't like it because I'm a young man. Yeah. They think I'm too big for my britches, but you got to blame me. You got to blame God for my arrival. That's right. You got to blame God for my arrival. That's right. I didn't make myself. No. I'm not trying to show myself big. Hallelujah. No. I received it from God. Yes. I received my revelation from God. That's right. And I Hallelujah. Who will take God, and I'm still getting it. Wonderful. Line upon line, precept upon precept. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm determined that lay in that Bible. Hallelujah. And any of you elders that's in Holy Temple or anywhere else, and you hear this message, and yet you still keep promoting something that's not in the Bible, you're a hypocrite. That's right. 
If they serve the Lord's Supper after this message after and still pull out their tray of glasses, yeah. all of you that are sincere, don't take it. That's right. If they rebuke you, suffer wrong rather than do it. Yeah. Don't take it. That's right. That's right. If they ask you, why you not take it? Be bold. Yeah. yeah. I take it, Bishop, if you show us in the Bible. Yes. Is that asking too much? Amen. Not at all. If you elders that are with these preachers out here, serve it yeah. continuously. Yeah. After you hear this message, you're a hypocrite. That's right. You don't believe the Bible? No. Bible said you're guilty in one point, you're guilty in all. So right. and, uh, and the whole thing. That's right. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Amen. I know well someone ain't going to say it's too much emphasis. <laughs> Here's Bible? B Bible. Old Testament and New. Old Testament. It's in the prophets. Yeah. Jesus preached when he was here. That's right. And the apostles preached after the resurrection. That's right. Who in the world will say it's too much emphasis but an unbeliever? That's Amen. Right. Take your tradition and dump it. Yeah. He that believeth on me. As the God. scripture had said. Come on back to the Bible. That's right. Now the whole world got to come back to the Bible and reevaluate your belief. That's As right. I said before, so sad now again, that the churches today have to be re-educated. Oh, yeah. Re-educated. Oh, yes. Redoctrinized. Amen. Rebuilt. Amen. The teaching have came in from hell. Oh yeah. Like a cancer. That's right. Many churches have denounced philosophy and theology, yeah. and yet they use it in their own preaching. That's true. The moment you preach, there are seven dispensations. Ain't no Bible said that. No. Seminary school believe teach that stuff. That's right. Moment you said five minor prophets and five major, yeah. ain't no Bible said that. Theology. Theology. Hmm? That's right. Amen. You come on back this evening. Amen. God willing, if it come to mind, we'll get some more of these letters. Yeah, that's right. But this evening, I want to work on the authority yeah. and the function and the powerful qualification of the office of a deacon. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. You know, because most deacons in the churches, all they do, they either collect offering, they've been collecting offering for about 30 or 40 years, yeah. or they carry the preacher's briefcase in the pulpit, or they read for the preacher. That's right. Or they clean the church, or they open the church. That's right. And that's all you done. Yeah. You leave praise and testimony service. That alone shows me yeah. you don't even know what the office of the deacon is. That's right. Let me just drop the mic with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that the office that the office of a deacon in qualification, the qualification is identical to a bishop other than one point. Turn the service in the hand of Brother Dan. Let us, you didn't want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Anybody want to be baptized? Look at here. Look at here. Amen. Look at here. Amen. 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 All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, come around and go to the front. Now, let me say this. Now, there are bathrooms in the baptismal area, and I want to say to all of you that may want to use the bathroom in the baptismal area, don't use it. Go upstairs to the next level because we need all that space because when, when folks want to get baptized, because we got so many always want to be baptized, that we, got, we need them to use the bathrooms for changing and the other big room for changing. So anybody want to use the restroom, you go up to the next level where there's large bathrooms up there also. That way nobody's crowded and there's nothing too congested. Amen. You might as well come on and get yourself right. right. So if you want to be baptized, you go on where they are. 
Gone where they are. You know that we, we are indicting in a good thing. All right. All right, now you, we gave you Bible. That's right. Come on back this evening. Prayer begin at five o'clock. Webcast begin at six. Let us all stand. Dan demands Stasiak will close us out in prayer once again. Mm -hmm. All right. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, oh God, we do thank you again and praise you, Heavenly Father, for your loving kindnesses and your tender mercy that you've shown towards us continually. Oh God, we praise you, oh God, because there's no God in heaven or on earth like thee. We thank you for your eternal word, oh God, that you sent, oh God, among men, my God, given among us, my God, that we may be saved. Remember the listeners and the viewers throughout the world, wherever they may be. Help their understanding, I pray, oh God, that it may come open to thy word that they may repent of their sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ while this is still open to them, O God. O God, give us strength and help us to continue in the faith thereafter. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.